Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. As always, a free way to support the channel is by leaving a thumbs up, by leaving a comment, by subscribing if you have not done so already, or telling me what your favorite altcoin is because it matches the video perfectly. I mention quite often, for those of you who don't know, I've been in the cryptocurrency market for a very long time. It's somewhere around the range of 2013, 2014. I've been doing this channel since around the end of 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere around that time frame as well. Um, I tell people quite often that I do not care for many altcoins. And I, the typical comment that I get is, you're a loser, you have no idea what you're talking about, you need to learn the market, bruh. And it basically comes down to, I tell people what I believe in because I've seen the movements of the market. I've seen what was here, what's no longer here, what's still here, and what has been here basically from the very beginning. So um, while I do not use this website at all, um, CoinMarketCap does have a thing called the Historical Snapshot, where you can basically go through all the years, all the dates, I think they do it once a week, and you can see exactly what prices were before in the past and the long, long ago. I mentioned this in the last video that I was going to make a video like this because I, I think it's fascinating and I really want, first of all, I know that tons of people have no idea that this historical snapshot thing even exists, but I want people to really understand why when I say Bitcoin's going to make it, it's not because I think Bitcoin sounds awesome. It's not because the banks are buying it. This is also another, you know, this is a fragment of it, but it's because it has lasted the test of time. Like nothing has taken it out and nothing is going to take it out. Anyway, so the, the first date that we have is the 28th of April, 2013. You might notice, for those of you um, looking at the screen or not looking at the screen, what do you notice really weird about the market? Anything? Anybody? There are only seven coins. By the time Bitcoin had passed from... I think it was $8 to $10 to $100 to $1,200 and then shimmied on back down. Everyone and their mother was like, wait, that's kind of crazy. Can we make our own of these things? And you bet they did. The coin that came out that became the most popular, and this is why a lot of times, first of all, this is not financial advice. I have to say that because people are people and they'll be like, I, I, I bought that coin because he said so. No. Just telling you the history of everything. Charlie Lee came out and was like, hey, I think we could have another coin that's slightly complementary to Bitcoin, and I'm going to call it Litecoin. It is a light version of Bitcoin. At that point, everyone completely lost their minds and started making all their own coins. And when I tell you that so many coins in the market are not going to make it, yes, I do understand, I got it, that there are going to be tons of altcoins that will make people a lot more money. No argument against that. I've told you that nearly every single day. If Bitcoin goes up by 4%, the altcoins go up by 16, 25, 34, now percent. The issue is, is that you have to make sure to understand that these coins are not going to make it. They are going to disappear. And, I, and I'm so glad that I'm actually making this video so that I can show you through the years of the things that people told me we're going to make it. And I was an idiot for not putting my money into them. And I was like, that coins, the coin has no future. It's not going to make it. You should make sure to put your money into Bitcoin, especially at this time into Litecoin. And you'll even see how the market ends up changing. For those of you not looking at the screen, there were only seven coins. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Peercoin, Namecoin. You know what I make fun of like uh, sushi and hat coin and sweet potato coin? It's because of things like this. And I'm like, okay, so we're back to the ridiculous names once again. TerraCoin, DevCoin, and NovaCoin. A lot of people, PeerCoin was the most popular, I mean, altcoin at that time. A lot of people thought that PeerCoin was for some reason going to make it. I'm not exactly really sure why, and I still don't care because I knew that the coin was garbage. The 16th of February, 2014, we went from seven coins... Still scrolling. To 108 coins. Because the idea was, if Bitcoin can go that high, 
surely my coin can go that high. It was fueled by the idea that the space was a sham, the space was fake. Bitcoin wasn't going to last for that long because people didn't understand and still do not understand why Bitcoin is special. And everyone simply started making any coin that they possibly could. Got Peer coin, and then right here, paying attention, Dogecoin popped up. It was made as a joke along with the other coins. This isn't me telling you not to put your money into it. It's not going to go to $10, whatever people think I'm going to say. It's more to say like it was made as a joke alongside many other coins because the problem was a lot of these coins hit really big money. The creators of these coins were giving themselves 50% of the coins and then one day there was just no more code. Why, why aren't my transactions going through? Oh, there was only one node? Ah, okay, well, who controls that one node? Ah, the owner? He's gone. $25 million? Okay, well, what can I do? So when you you probably heard many years ago that the cryptocurrency space was this and that and was only used for criminals, voila, this is exactly why. Next coin, Omnicoin, name coin, counterparty, Quark. BitShares PTS, infinite coin. You know the amount of arguments I had with people over infinite coin? The idea was no one's ever going to use Bitcoin. Bitcoin's far too slow. They need a coin that is just like fiat. This is what people told me. People need to know that there's always going to be new coins popping out out there from this one coin. Because if there's only 21 million Bitcoin, there's more than 21 million people. Yeah, but you know you can break down Bitcoin. That's not going to, that was never going to happen. The idea of people using Satoshis or even saying Satoshis, I think at this point it was called Bits, was like no one's ever going to be dealing in Satoshis. Whenever people buy, they're simply going to be buying one, two, three, four, five Bitcoin. There's no other way around it. Prime coin, mega coin. Feather, feather coin, feather coin. Pancake is now also a coin that is currently being traded. World coin. I got into an argument with a guy about that one as well. He said it's called world coin. People around the world can use it. Nova coin, max coin, dev coin, vert coin was, oh my gosh, I forgot about vert coin. People thought that Vertcoin at one point was going to pass by, um, it, it wasn't XRP, I forgot which coin it was, but people were like, you know how adamant certain, certain people are right now over certain coins, like really thinking that they're going to make it? That was the Vertcoin community for a while. They would not hush themselves because they kept on telling everyone, listen bro, our coin's definitely going to make it. If you're not on the boat, you're going to miss out. Tickets! Unobtainium. When I say that the coins out now are not going to make it in their garbage, I, I, I foresee in the future the possibility of maybe around five, six, or seven different altcoins that we currently have that might actually make it. And it, it, it deals with actual adoption. It deals with actual integration. And you should know what those coins are. I've told you what they are before, and I told you that I bet on some of them because I'm like, okay, we're actually seeing adoption in this coin. Besides that, it's it's nonsense. Zeta coin, digital coin, net coin, Apple coin. I think you get it. At this point, Bitcoin's price was $613. This is 2014. It seems like a lifetime ago. XRP had just finally hit one cent. And then after that, XRP basically began to slide on down within the market. 2nd of November, 2014. Bitcoin's at 300, half the price. There's a website. There are many websites. I think it's called like Bitcoin obituaries or something like that. You can read every single time that every single article came out where they basically said, Bitcoin's done for, throw in the towel. It was nice while it lasted. You can't beat the government. You can't beat the banks. So and it kept on going on and on and on. And this was definitely one of those times. The years from 2013 to 2016 were some of the most frustrating times of my entire life. You see how we're getting like tons of like Bitcoin adoption now and like Bitcoin's price like, we'll get news that 87 banks are, are going to be using Bitcoin and Bitcoin goes, huh, and falls down by 1%, but some other coin shoots up by 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, whatever other percent. This was around the same exact time where tons of rich people were like, hey, there's something about that that Bitcoin thing. I'm thinking about getting into it. And we had all these rumors circulating and floating around. Really funny because 2014, Bubba, 2000, 
2018, 2019 was the time frame that we started hearing from mega stock markets around the world and other rich people that 2014 was when they got into the market. It all adds up. Bitcoin at this point was $300. XRP had fallen to less than half of its price. It was half of less than half of one cent. Litecoin was at $359. BitShares, this is what I was talking about. And I, I, I refuse to look through all the actual snapshots of uh, Dogecoin's price. Dogecoin was worth nothing. And it fell even lower than this. Like there were days where you looked at Dogecoin and you were like, that is worth nada. NXT peer coin. Here we go again with the same peer coin. Counterparty made safe coin. This was the top 10. The only things that still stick, Bitcoin, XRP, Litecoin, and I guess subsequently Dogecoin because of Mr. Muskie. Monero popped up. Lumens popped up. I think this was this, this, this must have been around the time where people who created XRP decided to move on to a new project, and that was Lumens. So Lumens is in the top 14. Even that wasn't a cent. It's weird to look at these prices. Nizidity coin. That is NX next. Next, next tycoon, black coin, new bits, supernet. Can't wait to use supernet. Bitcoin dark. These were not actual forks. These were people simply naming things after Bitcoin. You've heard me. How many times have you heard me say this in the video? Bitcoin red, Bitcoin blue, Bitcoin dark, Bitcoin light. These were all real coins. That's why I said Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin cash. Satoshi's vision have no right to be anywhere in the top 100. No one's ever going to use these coins. Don't be fooled. I'm showing you this video and showing you all these things to let you know so many of the hype coins in the market are going to disappear. So when you do put in your money into those, those altcoins, make sure you know exactly how to get out. Bitcoin, Feathercoin, New Shares, Omni, Quark, Zetacoin, Pandacoin, Oh, yeah, I forgot about Redcoin. Somebody made Redcoin because they wanted it to be used on Reddit. Primecoin, YB coin, BitUSD, Xcoin, you kind of get it. 15th, nope, yes, I was close, I was kind of close. 1st of February, 2015, Bitcoin's at $200. When I say frustrating, imagine being into something for three years, four years, and the price keeps going down, and you have no idea why. You can't really figure it out, but I guess... Hindsight, 2020, all that kind of stuff. It's apparent at this point, any lack of momentum in the market was causing a drop in prices, which only allowed institutions to be buy, buy as much as they possibly wanted. I don't even think we had Ethereum at this point. 2015, nope, no Ethereum. Litecoin's at a dollar, kind of cool. Bitcoin was at $226. Wish we could time machine on that one. Lumens popped up, Dogecoin. Okay, moved up a little bit as well. Kind of relatively the same, not really anything too different. <laughs> oh gosh, looking at some of these tile coin. 7th of February, 2016. Relatively the same. Ethereum has finally popped into the market. This was around the time, and I wish I could find the exact date, and I wish I could find the exact article, because I heaven knows I've tried. When Ethereum got started... At this point, there was no, and I hate using this term, but there was no XRP army. There were people who understood that the team from Ripple wanted to work with banks. And the thing that we kept on hearing about in the news was that our market would not survive without the banks. Remember I told you before, and we spoke about this since 2018, the only way that Bitcoin is going to go up in price is if we have an ETF. We've been fed these things for so long that we need institutions, that we need this money in order to get our market moving. So the idea was that the Ripple team kept on saying, you know, we have tons of banks lined up, we have tons of so-and-so. This is why XRP, people, people don't realize how long that XRP has been around. They think it's just something that kind of popped up. At this point, there were many people, even somewhere around here, I think it's somewhere around this price range. People started doing the calculations and were like, well, XRP is a cent. Bitcoin is at 226. XRP has to go to... 50 cents and it'll completely obliterate bitcoin that's when we really started getting the actual bitcoin maximalists and i guess even therefore xrp maximalists if you kind of want to say that because the idea was we can completely knock bitcoin out of the water there's nothing really stopping us from kind of doing that and then you had a whole bunch of people talking about centralization decentralization and banks and stuff like that so a lot of what you've 
learned about all this stuff is probably a lie. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, the saga of how XRP became really popular was that we kept on being told we need their money in our market. And if we integrate with the banks and the, and at this point, the banks were like, yeah, you know, like we're looking at crypto and if there's a really good one, we'll integrate it. Well, who was the only company who was talking about integrating with banks? It was Ripple and XRP. Same exact time, Ethereum, the team from Ethereum had announced, I think it was even Vitalik Buterin, that the project wasn't working out too well, that they were running out of money. This why I said, I wish I could find the article and I can't, it's driving me crazy. I've searched for years, believe me. Um, I remember reading it because the idea, first of all, everyone thought that Ethereum was a scam. This was before XRP is, is garbage kind of news. It was Ethereum, we don't need it. It's terrible. It's a so-and-so. And then eventually the, the project started losing tons of money. And then somewhere along the way, Ethereum hit like $2. And then one day, um, I think it hit like $11. And everybody was like, oh, what happened? I think they got funding. If I can put the puzzle pieces together, I think, assumption, this was around the time when Novogratz and the head of um, Coinbase started getting into Ethereum as well. So I assume there was some money that was pushed into that market or to buy. It. I mean, I think the story goes, Novogratz has said, I'm pretty sure it's Novogratz, doesn't matter, um, that he met up with Vitalik Buterin in like a small little flat somewhere in Brooklyn or something like that. And I think he ended up buying a million Ether for a dollar. I think that was, I don't remember the exact story, but kind of making sense. So now you see it's even forming a lot more to kind of what we see right now. Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin. Even Lumens has been Lumens has been struggling to get into the top 10 since the beginning of time. When I say once again, almost screamed, when I say once again that there are only certain coins that are going to make it, these coins, there are certain coins that I believe have been accumulated by institutions and banks for a very long time. I don't think it's just Bitcoin. Bitcoin is definitely 95% of the portfolio, but the other bets are definitely also there and that's why I, I I said it before as well. I said I think it's very weird, uh, the whole like uh, Dogecoin Elon Musk thing. If you didn't see the news earlier, um, Elon Musk announced that he would put his full support behind Dogecoin if some of the whales, the people who they, they own like twenty five percent of all the Doge out there, if they kind of like let their coins go back into the ecosystem so mo more normal people could end up buying. I I, I think that story is a little odd and i wonder if dogecoin is like actually going to be like a popular coin in five years because if, if tesla adds it then everyone else is going to start adding it as well so that's quite interesting to look at market still garbage ruby coin monero has popped up earth coin new shares stability shares because that sounds like something i want to buy grid coin mona coin fuel coin storage coin x bit crystals notice anything you seeing something? Somewhere, so, oh, 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 we got a tether. Market cap of $1 million. People weren't even thinking about stable coins. Stable coins weren't even a thing. People laughed when, I mean, people still laugh when, about stable coins now, but they were like, why would I, and if Bitcoin keeps going up, why would I put my money into something that's exactly a dollar? And then, you know, we got smacked in the face with 995 different stable coins. 21st of August, 2016. You know exactly where this is leading up to. Our market began to move. And we really couldn't figure out why. We had just had a halving, but halvings within our market and within the news weren't really like a, a popular thing. It's like, okay, cool. Well, you know, the supply has been shut down. Oh, no, shut down. Uh, cut a little tiny bit, but that, you know, we have to wait until another like 5, 10, 15, 25 years before that actually does anything to the market. So Bitcoin goes from 200 to 581 dollars. Ethereum goes from what was it, three dollars? Two dollars and ninety-six cents to eleven dollars. XRP still floating around, but the the XRP saga of 2017, people will never forget about that. And Steam, oh my gosh, is is, is the other coin here? Wait for it. 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 It's not here yet. Oh wow, wow, so weird. What? Hold on. Did I just see that? Okay. I thought I... Never mind. I thought... No, anyway. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Steam 
was basically what voice wants to be, but like on another level. I think it's even made by some of the same people, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't really matter. Uh, around the time when Steam was very popular uh, is when BitConnect popped up. Because a lot of the people from BitConnect started uploading their videos to Steam. And that created a whole chain. We have Ethereum Classic now. Litecoin, Dash, Nem, still a coin. Made safe coin, poof, Monero, Lisk. Next, Dogecoin. Still floating. I mean, I just want you to understand what the market looked like and what it looks like now. This is basically like the beginning of the insanity. I, I chose the very first of January to show you like exactly where we were before all the madness happened. Like you are probably in the market because of this date. Bitcoin was floating around $900 and by the end of the year had hit 20,000 and this is where 95% of the people in the market have come from. Ethereum was $8, XRP still not one cent. Litecoin's at $4. I always quote these numbers because I think these are the most like proper remarkable ones. Like we people would fight their mother to get these prices again. An $8 Ethereum if you had $8,000 to buy 1,000 Ether, and Ethereum's price is currently 2000 you would have made $2 million from 8000 I was not joking. People would fight their family members just to be able to go back in time to buy at these prices. Yeah. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, it's going to be a very wild... I mean, in... I'm going to give it five years. I was going to say 10. I'll give it five. I'm going to have another video just like this where I'm showing you the prices probably from today. Just showing you how ridiculous everything was. How, I guess even looking back, how undervalued all these coins were. So many, oh my gosh, game credits, EDC blockchain, bit shares. I think, didn't bit shares become... Mm -mm 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 Neo, didn't BitShares become Neo? I'm pretty sure BitShares was Neo. Mm, there was some coin that morphed into Neo. You got Swiss coin, you got Ardor, you got Tether, you got Zorum. I forgot about Golden as well. Shadow Cash. You know what that was trying to be. Stratus. I don't know, Neo's right here. What what did BitShares become? I don't remember. Anyway. Yeah. Kind of weird how much the market has morphed. And even if you look now, if you look at this, all these coins that I'm scrolling by that you don't recognize, same exact thing happened in 2017, 2018. If you look back then, no one recognizes those coins. And I, I, I assure you, in three years, the whole market would have been completely different once again. And a lot of the, the DeFi coins, which is a new hype thing, uh, none of these things are going to be around anymore. I completely promise you. How many coins do we have in the market at this point? Ba -da -ba. Boolberry? Anybody want a Boolberry coin? No? Because because you're not going to use it? Okay. New bits, energy coin, his red coin again, via coin, vera coin, adzik coin, gold coin. I forgot about gold coin. This is when people started to, to say that they were going to uh, change their... Hold gold reserves and put that into a cryptocurrency or some nonsense like that. V, v cash. Sure. Mega coin. How many coins do we have? This is a lot of coins. Okay, load more. No, I will not. Yeah. I want to make a little quick video. Why not? You know, we're all inside the house anyway, so <laughs> I do hope you all enjoyed. I do hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, understand that there are going to be a lot of coins that will make you tons of money, but know that those coins will... Some of these coins had a market cap of $113,000. Oh my gosh. What was Bitcoin's market cap? I'm going to say $4 billion? Am I right? 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 Oh, I was way off. $16 billion. That's still like... We're close to a, a, a trillion dollar Bitcoin market cap. My, wow, 715 million for Ethereum. My oh my, how times have changed. I do hope you all enjoyed. 
I do hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope you're in rest, <laughs> in resting, investing in the correct coins. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.